you go into a bayer gun. What you gonna get a nine millimeter? To come walk inside K47. No, 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 we gotta You're not with real. Uzi. Starting with a newsie. But I know I'm being facetious. A citizen here. cannot get a newsie. You can't. We're not legitimately. Correct. <laughs> you can get anything illegitimately. Correct. Uncle. So that you're gonna have to become yeah, a gangster. I hear, I hear you, but I hear you. But not my point making is, sense. No, of course, and you're right. But my point is the war has become internecine. The war in Laventer has turned in on itself, and all we have now, we have a series of communities, pockets with borderlines. You heard the guys. Yeah, but those borderlines were always there. When they were growing up. They were told how nothing to do with them people over there. They don't even know why the borderline's there. They don't know why they hate each other. Back in the 1930s when the small islanders were coming in and settling in the quarries and living in the quarries and holding the quarries for the family that still has to come. So who settled in Barcelona quarry? Hey, we from St. Kitts. The people from Nevis can't come here. The people from Anguilla from St. Vincent can't come here. Those who settle in Macano quarry or Macrain quarry, they don't even know they're living in a but quarry right now. up until right the now. point I came here, which was in 1995, I could still walk down George Street with all my gold because there was time I had gold at three o'clock in the morning coming from all stars pine out and i was still safe and cool with all the vagrants yes because at that time sorry hopeless people <laughs> at that time you had outsiders being free to travel because the war hadn't escalated that's my point the there were borderlines that existed but right. we weren't killing each other over no Queen, was, oh. nelson street is a war upper nelson street and lower nelson guys street. were crazy. killing each other you know but the numbers weren't big. Okay. I was only Smaller and it was only small Lavantel people and we didn't care about them. You know why we are afraid now? Because Lavantel killing us. Yeah, but therefore you go back to should you arm yourself or not. I mean that's a whole separate topic and it's a whole separate debate. People need to feel protected, if, they need to feel safe. If they I don't feel can protected, they don't feel safe. If a cancer exists in the body no and problem, the cancer no is destroying part of the body. The solution is not to go and destroy the rest of the body. I hear you, but I yeah. want you to understand how people think and Well, oh, I understand how people Good, think because and So we can leave it there? Yeah. It makes no, it because, make no sense. Because, <laughs> because people are meeting fear with fear. Yeah. They don't know and who else to turn to or what else to turn to. Because you have to start to turn to yourself. I can't come into these communities because I am armed. I have no intention of becoming armed. I can come in because I care. Organizing police sports. If so, people understand yeah, that you care them, about yeah. them and you want to see better for their children, a gun doesn't make yeah, better for your child. You your You're showing people a promise of something yeah. different. Mm -hmm. yeah. These boys that have um, they made far. the decision, we want to learn. We want training. All right. They've stepped forward. Government is too yeah. bureaucratic. Mm -hmm. Meeting them has been too slow. Mm -hmm. But we have volunteer teachers, there are people, there are NGOs, there are people who... So it's not about me. There are people who step up and say, there are youths that want to make a difference, I'll help them. They don't need a police escort to come in. So They're you're saying the people who care, the cadre of people who come in to teach the various life skills, social skills, educational skills and so on, the people of the area know that they've come to help Listen. and to invest in the community. So they have a forward. When I walk in here, I meet Jehovah Witnesses walking up the hill. Have you seen them on a police patrol? Right, right. A boy will know, they come to talk to me about God and give me a magazine. They're not on them as you would well, say. Well then why therefore, this goes right back to why therefore are so many people loath to come into Laventil? They come on legitimate business, they're not con criminals. But you see, they, they come on their own business to make a profit for themselves. Oh, right. and, and, and our society has become which is I could get for this, hmm. not what I could do for you. We not come in to say, let me see how I can help this boy. We come in to say, let me see what I can get out of him. Especially when we want to vote, we're talking politics. And not just vote, even business. Okay. Lavantel is not a place where you can come to open a chicken franchise because the women here know how to cook. So in every community, there is some food place in the place and the Lavantel people support it. So when a businessman can't get a dollar out of Lavantel, he don't have use for Lavantel because he wants Lavantel to become a commodity and Lavantel is not anybody's commodity. Question. 
I'm sorry, this is my political bias and I state it openly and will continue to state it. I think the PNM has done very little to support the community of Lavender as a whole. No, 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 no. I want to understand though, I want to understand why the people of Lavender would be so... Okay, would you agree with that? Let's start with that. All right. Let me not, let me try I and be objective up that. in here. No, no, no. I agree with that, but you, you see, we start, as I said, you have to start at the beginning and you have to understand the dynamics of a place and how Lavantil is treated badly by the PNM because for the PNM, even if we don't do anything for Lavantil, we will get Lavantil's vote. So what you have to ask is, what is the relationship from Lavantil's end to the PNM? And when you ask that, you get an interesting answer. Lavantil created the PNM in a large measure. When Dr. Williams went to the, Woodford, the University of Woodford Square, it is the people of Eastport of Spain who came to hear him. It is the elders from Lavantil, the mothers from up here, who formed the Women's League. Lavantil is not the party of St. James. It's not even the party of San Fernando. For, for the PNM, Lavantil is its child. They who marched to Shagaramas with Dr. Williams. Lavantil people will tell you that Dr. Williams sat in the gallery. The PNM doesn't understand. It belongs to Lavantil. And because it belongs to Lavantil, for Lavantil, that's my child. And a parent does not require that the child house them or close them necessarily. If the child doesn't do it, it's still my child. The PNM abuses that privilege. The other parties feel we're not going to win Lavantil, so we don't need to spend money on Lavantil. What people miss out on, life is not about votes. We vote once in five years, but we live throughout the five years. And if you don't see about Lavantil, you will not live to see the next five years. Lavantil is not just about the guns, you know. Lavantil is your heart. Your pan come from Lavantil. Your carnival come from Lavantil. What the Calypsonian going to sing about next year, going to come out of Lavantil. The belly of your creativity, your soul. Goodness gracious. From the Baptists to the Catholics have to have pilgrimage on these hills. So if spiritually you have to come to these hills, heal the people on the hill. We mama guy in ourselves. Thank you. Do we have to stop? Very much.